It is finally time for us to check out Shattered Worlds, which is a single player mini game which was added a little while ago. And I'm going to be honest, I didn't pay any attention to what this thing was. I just assumed it'd be something that I wasn't that interested in. And in reality, I was both correct and not correct because the general premise of this mini game is actually very interesting to me. The execution, however, is kind of boring, but uh, they have been working on it a little. So it's kind of like a roguelike, where you have levels and you go in, you lose, and you gotta restart those levels and things like that. You can go to a challenger portal or a regular portal. I've not played this on this account at all, so we'll be starting from level 1, which will be real easy. I'm actually going to tell it to equip me um, and feed me, I guess. Why not, right? Alright, so we have to choose a mutator. I always like this one, but uh, for these early levels, don't really need it. I won't need it for a long time. Alright, so... Yeah, it gives a, you these items that... I don't know, are they better than my current armor or not? It doesn't look like it. I'd kind of hoped they would be. But anyway, the weapons definitely are. So yeah, we want that and that. Because they do give unlimited spells. Definitely some very good graphics and music in this place. And uh, basically the enemies are just a whole bunch of randomly chosen models with random words added to the end and um, levels based on what world you're on. That's basically how this game works. And just keeps getting harder and harder. And uh, I think that the technical limit is like 400 worlds, but I don't know if anyone's even made it halfway there. They might have, but you're not going to be getting there with the current items in the game. It's just not possible. And I should probably switch this to the magic one, right? That makes sense. I'm actually taking a lot more damage than I thought I would be in this first world. Alright, dead, dead, dead. But as you can see, you have to kill 75% of enemies, and then you're good to go. It is a good place to just get a little bit of combat XP, not gonna lie. And um, speaking of XP, there there is my levels as they currently are. As you can see, we have reached a few important milestones and progress points. We got 80 smithing for invention. We got 75 summoning for Plague's End. Um, I gained like two crafting levels, and uh, at this point, I think I can get crafting 80 by the end of the month with my current training methods. So that'll be awesome because then I just have to do divination and we'll have invention unlocked. So there's a very good chance we might have divin di invention, not divention, um, but we might have that by the end of the month, and if not, then definitely early in June. There's no reason why it should take any longer than that. And I'm really looking forward to it. I don't know how much invention we will actually use. I just want to start leveling it. And mostly I want access to it for disassembly because I want to be able to disassemble drops from Slayer. So that's been my huge motivation for getting invention is not to use invention items necessarily, but just to be able to disassemble stuff. And we will be there shortly. As far as Plague's End is concerned, I mean, the big things is like ranged and prayer right now. So, not a big deal. You know, you get prayer from the statues. I have penguin points. I can do quests. I can use my lamps in it. There's a lot of ways to train prayer. And ranged, I can just do slayer. I could po honestly probably be doing ranged in here. I wonder, do these crossbows have unlimited bolts? Let's find out. They do. Okay. Yeah, I might switch to training with uh, ranged in here then, but since my armor goes with magic, it only makes sense to have the old magic going on here. Alright, so... I could be, like, using abilities and stuff. Like, this is definitely a place where you'd want to use abilities like chain constantly. I would honestly think about setting up a separate one of these just for this. Now, the nice thing is that it really doesn't matter which uh, combat type you use in terms of weakness. All enemies will treat you as if you are using something that is strong against them. This is because at the higher levels the defense gets really bad, so they had to do it that way. Otherwise, by level 100 you just be hitting zero constantly and constantly, and it's just terrible. Alright, come on. What's going on here? Kill these guys. But yeah, this is basically all there is to see. You'll see 
a variety of levels. Sometimes there'll be a Gobi wandering around. I don't know if I've seen a Warden Chest before, but we'll open it up, sure. Oh. Oh, I think I have seen one of these. It just gives some of the animal. Oh, it's not going to spawn enemies for me? Oh no, there it goes. <laughs> I was getting confused for a second. This seems like a prayer situation. Alright, for these level 12 noobs. Yep, dead, dead, dead. Mostly just got to make sure I use chains when I can. That's what'll really speed up these kills. Look at them all, they're so strong, they're murdering me. Come on, chains me up again. There we go. It's annoying that the chains isn't killing them. Oh well. Not a big deal. We've probably killed enough. What is... Oh, that's the time limit? Oh, we got plenty of time. Not concerned at all, then. Yeah, these guys have... How much? 1,100 health? Not a big deal. I'm just tanking hits from like a million people at once. Malignant, Rambuki, and Natural. Yeah, it's using the same engine that they used for the Elite Slayer mob things, which is interesting. I wonder which came first, because they've been working on Shattered Worlds for a long time. And it is graphically very pretty, although I'm not sure how much it makes any sense. Wow, look at these guys. They all look so tiny from up above. Gotta get down low so they look bigger. Maybe it's just because they're not Blood Ragers. Who knows? Who cares? Point is, I'm winning. This takes a really long time, apparently. Even with prayer. But yeah, it's a completely safe death in this place, so even... Iron Man accounts can take part and not have to fear for their lives. Which, you know, makes sense. It would be kind of dumb to have not safe death in this thing. Yeah, it is a very good place to train, I'd say, for combat. Maybe not completely necessary, but yeah. And now, are these kills counting towards this? Because did I have that before? I don't even know. Oh, is the time limit up? Okay. Oh, we can go ahead and do this. Thank you for all of my Amina. Amina? Yeah, Amina. Now, the biggest flaw with this minigame, and I'll show you it before the end of the episode, is the pricing of the rewards, which is ridiculously um, weighted towards the high levels. Why am I even killing these guys? Whatever. But yeah, like, even the lowest level rewards, like the uh, Crawling Hand Slayer Mask, costs millions of anima. And that's not an exaggeration. It's ridiculous because these are items that... Oh gosh, I hate this. It's really annoying. Maybe if I can sneak around to the other side, they won't be able to attack me. Yeah, they need to fix that. Alright, so enemies will spawn. Some enemies will spawn. Freezing brawl. Freezing brawls, yes. I can't talk today, apparently. I kind of like this one. It's actually, from what I've seen so far, relatively rare to run into negative ones like that. It has not happened as much as I thought it would, really. You usually get a pretty good either... Um, oh gosh, that was a lot of people. Anyway, yeah. But yeah, the reward pricing is ridiculous, and we will see that. And wow, am I taking some damage. Having a whole lot of miniature Ceridoman pride leaders is kind of dangerous. I do like that they've taken models that... um are never going to get used again, really, and are using them, but once again, it's just kind of like, why are these things here, out of all things? And why are there no, like, if this is, like, abyssalese type areas, why is there no, like, abyssal demons and stuff? Like, those should be the common thing. What does that mean? I don't know. I'm surprised at the amount of damage we're taking. I guess it's because my armor sucks. I should really get my defense up. But that just goes to show you, like, here I am taking significant levels of damage on World 4. And I'm going to have to get way, 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 way farther than this to even hope of ever getting the um, lowest level reward in this place. Which is aimed at Slayer monsters designed for level 1s or level 3s, whatever. You know, the point is, why? What is the point? I really can't believe how much damage we're actually taking, honestly. This is insane. I thought I'd be able to keep going a while, but nope. Looks like we're just doing the first five levels today. It's going to take too long. 
Now, of course, I could be using strategy, you know. I think they're still attacking with attack styles, which is where this armor would come in, I guess. The problem is that 60 is the highest you get from this. Even if you're max level, you still only get level 60 stuff. It does suck, but whatever. Alright. I just realized... I have my, um, music set to a thing. Yeah. Because I've been in the circus, and... The, uh, so the circus music drives me mad, but I concentrate better with RuneScape music playing, so... I have to do that. I don't even know when I set up that music. I just did at some point. Oh no, it's a giant spider from that boss fight that I've never done. Alright. Hydra peoples, get out of here. This is taking forever, isn't it? I'm gonna turn prayer off. Because we're just gonna run out and don't need it for these hydras. Yeah, this sucks. We're gonna have trouble. We got one more world after this. Okay, we need... I just want to blast this one. Oh, wow. I didn't need to. Uh, whatever, goodbye. Oh good, you turned into a million Hydras, and apparently one of yourself again? Like, I don't even know. Apparently not. That one just vanished. Do I even need to worry about these Hydras? Like, can I just leave them? Do they even count towards the 75%? I don't think they do. So I think that's the key, is with Hydra, you just ignore the Hydras, you just tank the damage. Okay. I understand the strategy now. Goodbye. Yep. Um, oh yeah, uh, I guess tomorrow is the start of a bonus XP weekend, which I will definitely try to take part in. I work all the days that it is in effect because, you know, I like working the weekends. But, um, I'll still try to get stuff done. Um, not, not much. I'll probably get crafting 79, if not 80, just from the Citadel, and, um, maybe I'll do some Slayer, maybe I'll do some random skill. I could end up, like, if it works on the Circus stuff, I'll probably do Agility and Hunter there. Agility during the Happy Hours and Hunter, just to use up all of the tokens that I have saved up. It'll be good, so... You can expect to see some significant level gains in the next few days. It'll be very nice. I don't know if I'll be doing any training before the uh, thing. Oh yeah, they say that these guys have loot. But when I killed one, I didn't even realize he had loot. So, yeah. Who knows? I'm going to kill these guys first before I loot this poor little goby. Die, malignant. Okay, you die now, Gobi. I'm sorry to do this to you, but I want to see what loot you have. Oh, just a lot of anima? That's it. Lame. I think that's something that this is missing, is that it would be cool if you could get drops that were, like, actually good items. Oh, well. You know, like, occasionally get a drop that is, like, a tier 70 armor or something, rather than this crappy tier 60 stuff. I guess this stuff is mostly aimed at, like, Ironman accounts who can't afford or have time to find good armor, but I just use it because I can't. Oh gosh! Run away! We don't want to die on World 4, that would be so sad. Alright. Ooh, we got a nice volcanic-y looking world. Let's go ahead and heal. Wow, look at this portal. Is it supposed to look like that? I don't remember it ever looking like that before. I don't think it's supposed to look like that, but, wow. Nope, there it goes. Dang, it actually looked cooler before it fixed itself. Oh, well, let's fight some lesser demons. What I don't really understand is these things reset every five worlds, I think. So I don't know why they have so many slots unless in later worlds you get, like, two per level or something. I don't know. I guess it's for challenges you might get more. Still seems kind of weird that you only ever get, like, two or three for... A five world set. But who knows? What is this effect here? Does that mean they're gonna split? Like, what is that? I don't know. Kill the false lesser demon. This is noisy. 
die. Okay, I'm getting out of here. This is ridiculous. And by getting out of here, I mean stepping to the other side of them. Oh wow, why did it get so dark all of a sudden? Not because I'm almost dead or anything. No, stop it. Just die, you stupid champion. Alright. But yeah, I think that they really actually need more variety of monsters in this place, as weird as that is to say. Because they seem to focus mostly on like weird ones that don't get used anywhere else, with a few like Slayer and boss ones mixed in. But, like, why couldn't there be all the other things, too? I don't know. I feel like it would benefit from having just almost every single monster in the game appear. Rather than just a small selection. Like, wouldn't it be funny to have a level 100 imp appear later on? Who knows? I don't think imps appear, at least. Maybe they do. Okay, why am I killing these guys? Let's just kill this hobgoblin. Die, hobgoblin! Oh. I hate that clicking on these things is so crap. Like, you gotta use the number keys, otherwise you're just not gonna get half the things you click on to actually happen. And what is this? What is this? I'm gonna go stand in that thing. Seems like a thing to do. Oh, it's the thing you can attack, huh? Okay. I will attack this shield. An ancient relic. Never seen one of those before. But, huh. I mean, I guess I can just run over here and look at it real quick. Converted at an altar. Is there an altar somewhere around here? Like, I would assume there must be. And it's just going to give me anima, because everything in this stupid world just gives you anima. There's nothing else but anima for us. I do like the ice demons being here. It's a very nice thing. Ah, altar of restoration, altar of instant anima. I will go for instant anima. Did that just give me 35 anima? See, that's junk. That is. Oh my gosh. That is so pointless to even have that be a thing. Like, you might as well just not give people a reward if you're going to give them 35 anima. Even this 4,000 I've earned is utterly pointless. Oh well. Let's just kill enough of these noobs to get out of here because I'm done with this. I will definitely keep doing this on my own time though. Try to get further and further. Maybe so we can actually unlock some of the rewards at some point. Who knows? It's a theory. Um, it'll take a long time to get to. And we'll probably be much higher combat before I can ever do that. But... It will happen. Okay. Just kill. Dead. I'm gonna heal right now before things get serious. Alright, we're right next to the portal. All these poor little guys dying. It's so sad. They're so tiny. Even, <laughs> even the ones that say they aren't. Hydras? Why doesn't that one say it's a Hydra? Oh, not when you mouse over it, I guess. Who knows? I'm gonna kill some fabricated ice demons. Alright, ice demons. You have pretty cool graphics, but you must die. Goodbye. Hooray, we can get out of here and just get a little bit more worthless anima. Yeah, I like the music, I like the graphics. Even the gameplay is somewhat okay with some minor tweaks, but um, the reward cost is just nonsense. And honestly, I'm not sure that message it gives you there is even real, and you can't save your progress or anything. If you log out, you you get stuck with whatever you've earned. So, yeah. The, yeah, the main thing, the main way to earn stuff is reaching a new highest world, which gives you a bonus, which starts to get pretty big. Other than that, it takes forever to earn anything. Because, yeah, let's see, we did the first five worlds, we get 6,872 anima. And it took, I don't know, like 18 minutes or something? Yeah, 18 minutes. So, then let's look at the rewards. Where's the reward shop at? You? Alright. So, the rewards. Yeah, 
cheapest reward on this page is an Abyssal Slayer contract, which is 500k anima. So we'd only have to do that, you know, a hundred times to get anything. And yeah, this is including apparently the 2,500 bonus that we got for that and the 1,300 and the 1,600. So as you can see, most of what I earned was just from reaching New Highest Worlds. So if we redid that, we would get like, I don't know, 1K or something. I'm not doing the math on that. But yeah, the point is like even that shouldn't be that bad. But anyway, let's look at pets. Cheapest pet, 900K anima. Cheapest Slayer mask, um, 9 million? Yeah, 9 million. To get the Broken Fingers mask, which is for Crawling Hands, and technically the other ones, but no, it's for Crawling Hands, is 9 million. For the Basilisk one, um, it's 15M. What is this one? Mask of Mourning? Oh, that's Banshees, isn't it? Yeah, the thing with these two is they technically have higher level uses, but this one, the, uh, not Basilisk, the Cockatrice one, it's only useful for people at very low level, and it costs 15 million anima, which you will not get anytime soon. Like, it it's just ridiculous. And technically, this is just a way to get um, treasure hunter items, but still, like, the scaling on this, it just starts way too high. Like, I could see maybe 1 million on these lower ones at the maximum. Maybe. But yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. And yeah, the scaling on this. There's some interesting things for sure. We got, you know, new abilities. We got these things, which are kind of crap in a lot of ways because you basically have to spam them constantly because they only last, you know, 30 seconds, basically. So it's like 30 seconds and then you got to do it again and again it's basically an aura that lasts 30 seconds and needs recharged occasionally exciting so yeah not happy about the rewards but i mean you earn experience while doing it it's a safe place to train they give you a decent um magic and ranged weapons that have unlimited ammo so that's all good stuff there but outside of that not so much but yeah, that is Shattered Worlds as it is right now. It is definitely an interesting thing, and I hope they just keep working on it and improving it and don't abandon it, because that would be sad. But yeah, I'll see you guys, I don't know when. Maybe uh, maybe I'll try to record some point during the bonus XP weekend, but you know that's XP waste, so you might not see me until sometime next week where we will do something random, who knows. Um, maybe we'll be looking at Invention, because like I said, um, by the end of the month, definitely, so, probably not, um, unless the bonus XP weekend gets me level 80 crafting, then, yeah, next week we could have Invention, because I will push through Divination five levels of it as fast as I can if I get the level 80 crafting. Anyway, yeah, that is enough random chit-chat, I think. We are done here. I will be doing this on my own at some point in the future, I don't think you guys want to watch that every episode. Just like with Dungeoneering, it's not that interesting to watch 500 times. Bye!